that? Look how much water we got. Oh my god. Today, kind of special for me, just because I've had this boat for three, four, maybe, yeah, four months. So we got the boat in July, and now it is now October, first week of October. Take this thing out for the first time. We haven't water tested this yet, so kind of want to take it slow today. I want to just make the motor run today, um, see how it is. It'll be overall test. I'm not even going to line my uh, reels up, and I'm praying that it's all good and there's no complications. We're going on the river today, something I'm familiar with. We usually take our boats over there anyway. So I don't wanna kind of, I guess, wing it. I don't wanna go too fast. I'm just gonna get out there, have a good time and uh, film the whole process. Gonna stop at Dick's first because I need that paddle just in case. <laughs> Launched the boat by myself. The fuck was that? As of right now, let me just get all set up, make sure that we're all good and we're floating right. We should actually get the troll motor now. So there's two things that I really want to double check. I want to make sure the motor runs good, and I want to make sure trolling motor doesn't poop out on us. Got the remote here. It's gonna be the first time driving it with a remote. We're gonna go into that bed. So let me let me get all set up. Yo, this is sick. Getting used to controlling with this thing's a little different. First time having the camera gear on here and first time driving the boat. This is uh, a little surreal right now. What is that noise? Okay, let's try to fire this bitch up. I'm like so nervous, dudes. Cadets so freaking scared right now and I don't know why. <laughs> Massive wheelies. I can't even see ahead of me, so this is gonna be difficult. Holy shit, it hasn't even been five minutes out here.
The water in the boat, we've been on it for at least, it took me 30 minutes to get to our normal fishing spot. I'm gonna line up some rope pulls. I didn't come prepared. I just wanted to make sure this thing worked. So far, I'm very, very impressed. The one thing that I didn't like compensate for like putting the decks in and putting the sea foam in, or um, sea foam, <laughs> putting in the EVA foam was not quieting up the hatches. So I'm gonna probably have to run like rubber strips where the aluminum hits the aluminum. I don't think these latches are like 100% like fully sealed. The motor guide's been working very well lately. Oh, there it is. It's just so sick how I could just steer the motor guide from here. That is so sick. I just put anchor mode on. I never tried anchor mode. That is so sick. Definitely gonna love this. But <laughs> this isn't like really like one of my fishing videos. This is more just dropping the boat in. Overall, I'm very, very happy with everything. So I can't thank everybody enough for the support. This is, I know, different. It's not super content, and I know I lost a lot of subs because of it, but what's a channel without trying anything new? So that's what we're gonna try to do today. Get some fishing clips on, since I have the cameras on the bo on boat anyway. Mainly just to take it all in, because I haven't been on the water in God knows how long. So take advantage of it, get some poles lined up, and maybe get our first fish in the boat. We put it on plane, I didn't film it, but it was absolutely mental how the 90 horsepower moves and then and scared the ever living bejeebus out of me. The idle screw popped off and the motor cut out and I was like, holy shit, what the hell? Yeah. We're gonna have to plug whatever this is. What a mess. I think this is a live well or whatever. Look how much water we got. Oh my God. It sucks. That's all from this leak right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this pump right here, she done, bud. She's even leaking now, right even now, dude. What the fuck? Yeesh! All that water, look at that. It's all good. It's a boat with not a little bit of water in it, right? All right, guys, I'm just gonna end the video here. Shout out to Brian and John. Pleasure meeting you guys out here on the river. Super pumped so far. We're gonna talk more. I'm gonna save that for the next video. But overall, we're just coming out here, not really expecting anything. We were able to stay out on the water. We started at 11. I believe it's uh, four or five o'clock now. And we got some water in. I, I know what it is. So I think by the next time we go out on the water, this test run was perfectly, I guess, ran smoothly. I know what went wrong. I know what's going on. And I think the next thing I'm also gonna do is the trolling motor uh, cables. I'm gonna make them a little bit, probably go with an eight gauge or maybe a six gauge, something really thicker. They were getting a little hot, but I had to drive the boat with the troll motor because we kept losing this stupid idler. Actually, I should take that off now. We kept losing this uh, dumb little idling uh, rod on the back of the boat. 
and uh, that kind of made things a little bit complicated. We had no throttle. We had a motor, motor ran great, but we just didn't have a throttle and you need a throttle in order to drive a boat. So pretty pumped, kept it clean, as clean as I possibly could. There was so much mud down there that I'm just glad self-launching and then loading, I was able to do it by myself. But all right guys, thank you so much for following uh, the journey. Please like, share, subscribe. We're gonna have more content with this bad boy right here. Thank you again. See you guys on the next one.